Morning. What was that bullshit you once said about your outlaw days being behind you? I think you? you need to calm down, Give me Redden. one reason why I shouldn't come up there and kick the living shit out of you. I'll give you 15 reasons in the mag and one in the chamber. You sure you can hit me from there? Well, it's either me or the four people inside this house with their guns already pointed at you. Well, how much time do you think you got left? I thought I had till noon tomorrow. Well, what if I said it was right now? I mean, unless, of course, you want to finish that chicken leg. Well, I mean, you can call it off. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. Oh, well, if you're gonna keep after me, Raylan, I figure we may as well just get her done. Your four to five's on the table. I have to pull. Is that how we do it? Well, I appreciate that, Raylan. Yes, I do believe it is my call. What are you packing? You'll pay to find that out. Oh. You got ice cold water running through your veins. Well, should we just do us a shot of Jim Bean? Just for old time's sake. Ava, get us a shot of Jim. You wanna know what Bowman said when he looked up and he saw me with his deer rifle? God damn, woman, you only shoot people when they're eating supper. He had his mouth full of sweet potato. He said, the hell are you doing with that? Ava, put the gun down, please. You wanna know what I said? I said, I'm gonna shoot you, dummy. Didn't wear your suit. Well, you say that as if I've only got the one and not a whole closet full. <laughs> I'm sorry. You didn't wear your black suit. Well, I can see by the hitch in your step, you're still not 100%. Yeah. How's Eva? She's moving not so different from you. She's healing. So was I right not to wear my suit? Well, we don't have a strict dress code. Well, it just occurred to me that Randy Givens invites me up to Lexington. Chances are I might find myself in front of a judge before the day is out. Why, did you do something you shouldn't have? Well, that's a pretty low bar, Raylan. <laughs> now, uh, Trooper Tom Bergen, up there in your world, he says within a day of Mag's killing herself, all her marijuana drying sheds got cleaned out. Well, I wasn't aware that marijuana interdiction fell under the marshal's purview. He also said that the uh, floorboards in the sheds had been torn up, ceilings pulled down, walls opened up like someone was looking for something, which does fall under the marshal's purview, recovering ill-gotten gains. Mag's bank accounts have been seized along with her property, but there's still a sizable amount of money missing. How sizable, Raylan? Well over $10. Well, now, if I found that kind of money, I'd be in Mexico by now. Boy, I've been to Mexico. I don't think you'd like it. How so? There's a lot of Mexicans. Raylan, mm -hmm. if, if a book could only be judged by its cover, you'd be a bestseller. Hmm. You didn't happen to bring your rocket launcher, did you? I didn't think to pack one. I'm Raylan Givens! No, I'm Raylan Givens! He trying to be funny. A little. We get Givens, the other two can walk. I ain't going anywhere, they killed my daddy. You came here to kill your daddy yourself. Well, oh, that's different. How? You got to kill the two men who came after your daddy, you give me the same courtesy. Why don't we all just run? Well, someone's gotta keep them here for the other two to have a chance. And if we all stay here, night comes we're dead. Only one way this works. I'll stay then. Boyd, I'm asking you. Take Ava out of here. Why you want to kill me so bad, Raylan? You don't even know why. Boyd Crowder must die. That's just a lie you tell yourself wanting to win. You are the world conquering emperor of lies, the biggest reserve for yourself. Just say it, Raylan. I want to win! <laughs> How about, I want the money? Shit, you want to kill her, Boyd. You want to kill the woman who stole your money, shot you, and left you for dead. You don't know what's in my heart. What heart? You don't know what's in your own heart. You've given up everything you are so that you could murder me. I cross the line with my eyes wide open. <sighs> well, whose eyes you gonna see?
When you kill me, Raylan, your daddy's? Not anymore. Your baby girls, imagine the look on her face the day she realizes my daddy spent his whole life trying to walk the line and failed. She'll live her life the way everybody does. On her own. You gonna shoot to stop me? Maybe. I'm pretty sure you're empty. You gonna bet your life on that? No, Raylan, I'm gonna bet my life on you being the only friend I have left in this world. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Raylan, but you know how these places can be. So many gates and sally ports and highly invasive searches. What brings you to my house? Oh, this is your house now, huh? Why, yes, prison is my home, if that's what you're asking, Raylan. This is where God needs me to be. Now, how can I... I don't mean to be rude. I didn't come to hear you preach, and I don't want to hear about my daddy, neither. Well, what can I do for you, Raylan? I need a reason to not bring the full weight of every available resource I can muster down on the heads of you and your father and every crowder housed in this or any other federal penitentiary. I hope that you'll refuse. Do not feign ignorance. Well, I'm surely not. You don't know anything about somebody taking a shot at Ava. What? Oh, when did this happen? You tell me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my lord, I think he swallowed a peanut the wrong way. I'll help you with that. Come on. Raven? Johnny. Oh, Raven. Figured I owed you that one for taking a poke at me at the marshal's office. Well, if I try to take this conversation vertical, can I expect more of the same? You can expect worse, unless you start talking about Robert Quarles. And if I say that uh, you'll need to refresh my memory? What do you think? I think I'm gonna need some ice. Ice can wait. I never knew you had heels in your blood, Raylan. I do. I whistled the theme song to Deliverance if I thought you had a better sense of humor. Mama was never embarrassed by it, but Arlo didn't like her talking about it. Came in handy, though, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Our daddy's 30 years ago for us today. Yep. Now here we are, both in pursuit of a man our daddies went to great pains to hide. <laughs> well, I guess this is where we say, may the best man win. Should we shake on it? Ow! Uh. You talking about no sense of humor. This is funny. I know I'm laughing. I've come to a conclusion. I don't like you, Raylan. Never liked you much neither, boy. <laughs> <laughs>